fences, it's four miles up here. came off here and that trail comes down I thought I'd be able to see into that over that from over here from the map but that's not the case but regardless this is where I'm gonna camp there's some water it's kind of secluded and once I set up camp if I have time I'll run up on that pass right there <clears throat> and see see what I can see from there um, my unit is right on this ridge line here, the way around me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is the way to come in here or not, but pretty cool spot. <clears throat> and yes, I'm exhausted. That was, I'll have to check, but it says it's four miles from the, um, from the truck the sign there but <clears throat> it may be four miles but there's a lot of elevation gain in that four miles so hard on somebody who's been sitting in a boat guiding fishing trips all summer anyway see if we can't find some goats well got camp <laughs> all set up I got my meal I'm wor it's warming up well it's warming me up <laughs> um, just fired up the little stove and heated up some water for my dried out meal gotta filter a little bit of water in the morning so I have some for the day water source isn't great i was hoping it was running water but it's pretty stagnant so i wasn't real excited about filtering that so i think i can get through tonight and then i can hit the stream up on the way down tomorrow but it's chilling off this feels pretty good having this little bag of food warming me up but anyway just running the old uh, texting machine. It says Brian is getting stitches. <laughs> it's always nice. Anyway, hopefully I see some goats in the morning. Make us all worth it. Anyway, oh, I do have some animal crows in there. <laughs> well. I camped uh, down here last night. A little tiny spot is my tent. All the water around me froze. It was cold. <laughs> I hiked up here to get a good vantage point. And there's goats. There, there. Eight goats total. Well, there's more coming out over here, so I don't know what I'm up to yet, but... In fact, one of them is crossing this snow patch right... Or green patch right there. Anyway. There's about a... There's 11 bulls down here. One of them is pushing 350, 360. Nice, nice bull. Um, there's about 100 head elk on this, all that area right there. Mostly cows and calves it looked like, but beautiful place. These, I believe, these are the bells, these mountains right here. That's gotta be Pyramid Peak. But something's rolling the rocks off over here. And they're just falling. 
Anyway. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So my unit boundary is this ridge line here. And those sheet or those goats over there just right inside my unit. But not an easy place to get to. <laughs> A lot of goats and I'm gonna jump over this There's a little saddle I see I can get through um, that's conundrum I'm gonna look at the head of that and see what's there there is a, a way I can come in if I come in early or late um, up Maroon Creek and uh, I shorten my hike and then I'd be in the same in the unit the whole way rather than <laughs> hike through a bunch of unit that I can't hunt Anyway, figure it out. <clears throat> well, I made it to, they call this Triangle Pass. There's a pass right there that goes down into Maroons. I think that would be East Maroon. Um, and this pass here that I'm on is Conundrum. The Conundrum Hot Springs are right down there. I don't see any goats in conundrum but I'm gonna sit here till the sun gets up a little higher and see I may keep working my way this way see if I can't see something on the same side I'm on it's always the hard thing you can cover one side real well but the other side you can't see it so well the side you're on but way up here and it's beautiful Just did a video <clears throat> about how I didn't see any goats in conundrum and then boom they just pop out of nowhere So some people have always called me a mountain goat when they've hunted and hiked with me. And right now I'm above these goats by a good three to five hundred vertical feet. But I've seen some goats today that definitely are a little tougher than me. <laughs> so my little camp is down here between these two snowbanks. I gotta go back down there, pack it up, start my, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna track it on the way out of here and see just how far it is, cause the sign says four miles at the truck. I've hiked a lot and know what four miles is like. Mm, this doesn't seem like four miles, but anyway. Wilderness warrior, that's what I call this. You have to be a wilderness warrior to do this because it will grind you, it'll beat you down, it'll test your spirit, it'll test your strength, it'll test everything about you. But in the end, it pays off. When you get up here and you find Hey there, it's Brylin and Jared checking in. We, uh, we're probably a mile in. We were gonna do our video earlier, but we forgot. And then we met some people on the trail and uh, got to chatting with them as we were walking. So anyway, um, this is the Copper Creek Trail. Um, we're taking that in four miles tonight and then camping there and then we'll go pop over the top in the morning. I'll flip you around maybe no can I flip it no no so here's our view going up this beautiful trail 
That's one side. And you can see our trail that we're going to take tomorrow. Let's go right up that. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. You have anything to say? Excited, <laughs> that's all. I'm pretty stoked to see your pack. How heavy was your pack? It was almost 20 pounds. Yeah. And Mine was right at 40. Yeah. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty steep and rocky. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Yeah. It will be fun. But we're gonna we're hiking while it's nice and cool. And it's not I can think of where it's place to hike. Yeah, it's not a gnarly hike, it's nice and smooth. Yeah, it looks like we're hiking on a road, but it's it's an old mining road that goes in here. So the trail's pretty nice till we get way up here, but we can handle it, huh B? Yeah. Alrighty, first night's dinner. We got the beef stew ration and fill it up in a nice cup tin cup and get to eating sounds good we're just got our tent set up all of our sleeping bags and stuff and we're gonna get a good night's rest after doing about three and a half miles and then we'll do the other three the next morning and then try and look for some goats and Jared and Ryland here. It's early opening morning. Oh, day three. Day three of our hike. Opening morning of our hunt. Um, we spotted these goats. Both groups we watched last night are bedded over here, so we're trying to gain some ground and see if we can't get close to them. See what's what.
cozy and at the bottom. Is that a nanny? Which one? Top nanny sitting down? Yeah. Are you shooting at the one sitting? She's down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is what happened this morning. I'm Rylan. Yeah. <laughs> so we played cat and mouse with two different groups of goats. We started at this pass right there. Nope. Yep. Right there. And ended up over here, and there's a pair of binoculars over there. And then ended up having to drop down below them. And we popped up on this little knob right here. And they were all in this bowl here. And one female, she saw us. She bolted for this scree field. And half of them didn't know what was going on. But it's hard when you have only a nanny tag when they're moving. To figure out which one's a nanny and make sure you make the right decision. And. We did. This is a. I think we. If we did the rings right, she's six, six or seven. But nice old nanny. Yeah. Brother might have got it on film, but anyway, there was 52. You can see there's a. This goat's coming back to check us out. I think it's a young Billy. Um, there was 52. I don't know if you can see. There's some here. Right there, and then there's majority of them. Have scattered all along. Um, yesterday there was 58, but the other part of the group is not here. But sounds good, but when you have that many eyes and that many goats, it's kind of tough because they don't pair up good. And there's young billies in the group, and when you have a nanny tag, like I said, it's stressful. So we we actually had them bedded. What 200 and something? 220. 220, 220 the first time. Yeah, and uh, they were all laying down, and it was just so hard to tell. They all looked big, and probably even saw this one. I wasn't sure. And then they got up, and there's one collared nanny that was in that group. She peed, and I was like, oh, that's a nanny. So then I thought, well, all the rest will pee. Same way. Nope, nobody else peed. They all just took off. <laughs> so we had to catch back up with them anyway. So we uh, this shot was what? It was 220 or something 205 somewhere in there but they were going across this i don't know how they do it but there's some kind of little trails here but it is definitely rough country and we just sent out the text via inreach that we have a goat down we have some a friend and my father's coming in to help us i think but we're going to try to get her up and over that pass and back to our camp and make everybody's life easier rather than come clear over here. He's still coming over here. Anyway, this was an awesome, awesome little adventure. I say little, it was kind of a major adventure. But um, we hiked in the first night, four miles, camped. Next day we did two or three, and we did a full day of scouting yesterday. And... We just had goats everywhere. We got goats not even in the unit that we found. And goats that we knew we didn't want to pursue that were in a place like that. And this one, we got lucky. You hear a lot of stories, and I've seen it happen where they she shoot them and they tumble. And this one got herself caught actually right where I'm standing. It's rock crevice, and she didn't even roll one time. But anyway so it was a perfect scenario we i was nervous last night because there was a guy glassing from up here but he kept kept glassing both ways so i wasn't sure what he was hunting because he wasn't even in the goat unit so 
we covered our bases and we got in here at daylight and we were on top of these things early little man he uh he's done really well mom was worried about him but this kid's tough got a little sunburn yesterday but <clears throat> um yeah he's been packing his pack and his pack is you know it's not quite like mine but he's packing a fair share of gear and stuff and He's not whining. He's not saying, Dad, slow down. Most of the time I stop because I'm out of breath and he starts telling me stories. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, son. Love you too. Glad you could be here. Yeah. And you're missing school today, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And football practice, but I think you're going to get plenty of workout. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, success. Now the work, more work begins. And your camera's off. Well, our packs are loaded, but we're going to stop up here. There's a spring, replenish water, and clean up some meat, trim up some meat, and then we'll head out of here. <coughs> you all right, Sneaky? Oh, yeah. Well, the goat has been killed, and. We're trying to head back to camp. We're two or three miles away from camp, probably three. And I have back straps, tenderloin, and a leg in my backpack along with everything else we brought. Dad has three legs and a cape and the head and purification stuff and all the other essentials you kind of need to clean up a, a, some game but yeah hiking our way out We're gonna try and make it to that saddle right there that's the point the trail runs right up to try to take the easiest route Try and find some binoculars that we left. And yeah, hopefully, meet our buddies at camp. We're probably almost halfway there or more. They have a lot easier hike. They're gonna help us pack it out. A um, friend of ours and grandpa is gonna help us. Got some goat beds. And yeah, we're just hiking along. I guess we'll see you some other time while hiking. Home. Yeah. Packs are heavy, heavy, heavy. So we get breaks a lot. And our help is not even up here, on their way up here yet, so. We are going to have to push through on our own. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing it piece by piece. No problem. We're just resting our legs. So, the goat, the goat clan here. Huh. Yeah. This is where our morning started. We glassed goats down here. Um, here, here, and here. So we went over here. Those ones got boogered, and then I couldn't tell which one was a nanny, and then everything went clear over to that red slide area. So we ended up killing one on that, of course. <clears throat> we'll have to check the elevation difference between here and there, but... Um, there's over, over a thousand feet anyway, because this is right at 13 right here. Mm. Anyway, so we cut it up and put it in our packs, and little man had some. I had a lot, yeah. <laughs> more than I probably should carry that far, but we got some help down here. Down here is our camp. Mm -hmm. They just sent me a 
text that you want to break camp. And at that point, I couldn't breathe. So, anyway, we're just rehydrating, giving our backs a break because the downhill is hard on your legs and lungs, and the, or the uphill, and the downhill it's hard on your knees and ankles and toes. And so, we're just preparing for that. But till next time, conundrum drainage. This guy will have a tag next for his sister. We might find some easier goats to hunt though. <laughs> or some more what people think, to help Mom? us. Some more One friends. Two. We'll have to make some friends between now and then. Yeah. Yep. Well, anyway, one last shot before we bail off here. Absolutely stunning country. It's hard it is to pack stuff out of it. It's so fun to be up here. A little storm over there. It's the goat gang packing out a nanny that was on the other side of that, probably four miles, and eh, over on the other side of the bowl. Yeah. Everyone's got a backpack gun full of stuff. Mm -hmm.